Pleasant good morning and thank you so much for tuning in to House of Esther's Morning Devotion. My name is Sister Valerie and it is indeed a pleasure to be in your presence once again. Hope you're having an awesome day and I trust that all is well with you. My topic for today is You Have Hope. You Have Hope. The definition of hope is an optimistic state of mind that is based on, a, on an expectation of positive outcomes with respect to events and circumstances in one life or the world at large. The spiritual meaning of hope is the confident expectation of what God has promised and its strength is in his faithfulness. The scripture that I'll be using today would be Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Here begin it. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Here end it. You see, we, we have and we serve an awesome and loving Father who is in control. God is always in control. Even when we think that we're in control, no, we're not. God is in control. God is saying to us that he has our best interests at heart and he will reward us for our faithfulness and obedience. Trust in God even when circumstances look difficult is one way of building your hope. God is saying to us, God is saying to me, Trust me, I've got your back. No matter what you're going through, I've got your back. You know, sometimes we have um, so-called associates or friends. And when, you know, in just mere conversation, no matter what, I got your back. Call me anytime, day or night. And sometimes you would take them up on that offer and they're nowhere to be found. But God, on the other hand, God is always there. He's got our back. He's got us covered. You see, in today's society, it may seem as though all hope is lost for morals, self-respect, respect for others are gone. It is sad, but it's our reality. But for those of us who, as believers, believers in Jesus Christ, and we know who Jesus Christ is, we have a duty to pray for the people in the world, not just the people that we know, but for all citizens of this world. Isaiah 40, 31 says, But those whose hope is in the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That's a powerful piece of scripture because when you're going through different challenges or different things in your life, you feel like you're going to die, you're going to faint, you don't have the strength, you want to throw in the towel. But this scripture is saying, but those who has hope in the Lord, hope, remember the meaning of hope is based on an expectation of a positive outcome. So I know who God is. I know what the meaning of hope is. I just have to apply it, put it together and know that, you know what? No matter what, I trust God. I hope in God. I have the belief that God has my best interests. God has a plan destined for my life. He has everything mapped out. This is what I expect of this child. This is what I'm going to do for this child. So if we just hold on to the fact that God is in control, God knows who I am. God is not going to take me out too far where I can't regain my conscious self and, and, and pull myself back in. God is going to help us. What brings us hope? The dawning of a new day brings us hope. The fact that whatever is happening today, let's say you're having a bad day. Let's say you lost your keys. You got locked out, you lost your keys, you lost your wallet, you missed the train, you got to work late, you got fired. You're having the lousiest day ever. 
And within all of that, just know that God has your back. And the fact that there is going to be somewhere, somehow, a light is going to a light is going to shine upon you and all will be well. And tomorrow is going to be a new day and all will be well. Have you ever thought about planting a seed? You know, in the West Indies or even here, sometimes you could try and do a little agriculture. When you plant a seed into the soil, you water it and you watch it grow. It's going to wake up something in you. So I use that example because I have a few plants and there's this one particular plant that I haven't watered in months, months. And I was about to toss the plant. And when I picked the plant up and I looked at it closely, there were um, buds shooting out. The soil was dry first to begin with. The soil was dry. You could see the roots. So in my mind, you know what? This plant is no good. Let me just toss it. But before I tossed it and I looked into it, I saw it was like about an inch. It was starting to bud and there were little leaves sprouting out. And it, it, it brought something back to my mind like, you know what? God is showing you a sign that no matter if you think you're dead or you're dying, you look beat up, you're worn out, you're tired, you're ready to toss in the towel, there is still hope. And um, it's so funny. My daughter said, you're keeping the plant. I said, yeah, I'm keeping the plant because it's a sign. It's a sign that no matter what, if we water the plant, the plant is going to grow. It's going to grow beautifully. So too, if we water our life, if we water our life, because, you know, that says, come and drink and you would never be thirsty eat you would never be hungry so if we water our life with the bible if we read and we apply everything that we learn there is always going to be a thread of hope no matter how grim no matter how dark it is going to be okay it's going to be okay when we have nothing god is up to something when we think like me for example I thought the plant was dead. I was seeing all the roots. The soil was dry, crisp. When I looked into it again, there was still life coming out of it. So, so too with us. If we could hold on to the tread of hope, if we could hold on to the hem of God's garment in the spiritual realm, in the carnal realm, no matter what is going on, know that there is always life, there is always light, there is always joy. There is always hope. It may not seem so at the time. Even in your distress, even when you are feeling hopeless and depressed and feel that you can't go on, you may have somebody in your company who's going through something far worse than you. And you're going to have to put on that armor. You're going to have to put on your gear and be able to give a, a consoling word to boost somebody's confidence you would be able because you would remember that there is hope, there is love, there is light. I hope my few words, I really hope my few words on the topic, you have hope, could help somebody through the day, could help somebody in any capacity, whether you're bubbly, joyful, no matter what state you're in, I do hope that the testimonies and the devotions that we give would be able to strengthen you, that you would be able to be encouraged and that you would be able to encourage someone. I just want to say that we love you. We thank you. And whatever it is, know that God's got your back. No matter how dark and how gray. Experience has taught me that in the midst of the storm, just stand still. Stand still and know who your God is. But it takes a lot of faith and it takes a lot of hope because faith and hope goes hand in hand. Faith and hope goes hand in hand. And through experience, I have learned to just sit still and trust God.